Hello everyone, welcome back to Nitro Addict channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet this beautiful summer tank top. For this tank top, I made about two years ago when I was first started YouTube channel and I didn't have the written pattern for that and I didn't do a good job with that tutorial as well. That's why I decided to redo this pattern. And yeah, anyway, I have free written pattern for sizes extra small, go up to double XL, it's available on my blog. But if you prefer the PDF, pinnable version is available for purchase on my Etsy, Ravelry, and Lovecraft.com. And I will put all the links in the description below. For this tank top, I have two versions. I have Shorter version is like crop tank top and longer version, whatever you prefer, <laughs> okay? And for this tutorial, I will show you in the crop version. I hope you enjoy! Here is the materials that I use for this project. For this project, you will need size 4 medium weight yarn. For this top, I use a line brand ZZ Twist. Okay, this is size 4 medium weight yarn. And then in each ball is have 246 yards or 225 meter. Okay, and this is 100% acrylic, but this is feels so nice. I love this yarn. <laughs> okay, here is the color that I use, gray. And for size small, I use a little bit over one ball, so it's about. 270 yards that I use total for size small. And in crochet hook, size 5 millimeters. Scissors and yarn needle. Before we start, I just want to talk about this pattern a little bit. So for this pattern, I make in size small. I know it looks pretty big, right? This is what I designed this pattern to be. So I decide to be like a loose fit. But when you wear it, everything will drop down and it look really good. That's what I like. And now, if you don't like like how it's oversized loose fit, you can decrease the side down as well. Okay? Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to tell you that. And um, this is the crop version kind of like short crop version. I also have a longer version as well. I know not everybody that comfortable with like shorter version like this. That's why I included longer version as well. And for this video tutorial, I will show you in this shorter version. And it's very easy to adjust the length as well. Just repeat, just one row repeat, very easy. And I will tell you later. For this tank top, we're gonna make the upper front right here and then upper back right here separate and it doesn't matter which side you choose to be the front or the back because they are the same okay so yeah after we have the upper front and upper back we will join them together at the underarm here and then we will continue in round after that for this pattern right here the main pattern repeat is one row repeat as you can see and then for this pattern right here is multiple of three spaces this space just in case if some of you guys want to know okay next let's talk about the gate here so I use like a many of pattern here so I can measure the gauge right here right on the main pattern here so two pattern repeat and seven rows equal four inches don't worry I show you so here seven rows equal four inches so see one two three four five six seven seven rows equal four inches and let me show you this. See? This is one pattern repeat, two pattern repeat equal four inches. All right. And let's talk about the measurement. So 
the measurement, the circumference is 52 inches circumference. Okay, like I said, I decided to be root fit, and then the length is 7.48 inches long, not include the strap. Okay, just this part. All right, and this is the crop version. And now you also can make as long as you like as well. You can make a dress out of this, just one row repeat. Very, very easy. Okay, I think I got everything here and let's get started. Okay, so first we're gonna make the upper front and upper back separate, okay? And make the same. So for the upper front here, I already cut my yarn. For the upper back, I gonna make the same, but don't cut the yarn. And doesn't matter which panel, which one you choose to be the upper front or upper back because they are the same. So I just call this upper front, I already make it. So now I gonna make the upper back, make the same, okay? All right, first make a slip knot. Use any method you prefer for making a slip knot. Here's what I like to do. I just twist my yarn like this and grab the loop up. So I gonna make 35 chains. This is just for size more, okay? Just follow your side. So after I make slip knot, I gonna chain 35. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I gonna keep making the chains until I have 35 chains and I will be back. Make sure to make your chain loosely. Okay, now I have 35 chains. So for row one, gonna be the right side. I skip three chains and I gonna make one double crochet into the next chain, which is the fourth chain from the hook. And then the first three chain that we gonna skip is count as one double crochet. So I skip one, two, and three. And then into the next chain, I gonna make one double crochet in there. So I yarn over my hook, I skip three, insert the hook into the next chain, which is the fourth chain from the hook. But I like to insert my hook into the little bump on the back of the chain. Okay, after I insert the hook, wrap a loop, I have three loops on my hook. I yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. So I gonna make one double crochet into each chain across. And if you like, you can insert your hook into the normal chain as well, like a V shape. But like I said, I always like to insert my hook into the little bump on the back of the chain here. Whatever you prefer. I just wanna tell you what I like to do. So I yarn over my hook. I insert the hook into the next chain here, right into the little bump on the back of the next chain here. And then pull up a loop. Yarn over, put the two loops, yarn over, put the two loops. Repeat that, yarn over, insert the hook into the next chain. Again, I go right into the little bump on the back of the next chain here. And then pull up a loop, yarn over, put the two loops, yarn over, put the two loops. I'm just gonna repeat that, yarn over, insert the hook into the next chain. Again, I go into the little bump on the back of the next chain. And then pull up a loop. Yarn over, put through two loops. Yarn over, put through two loops. All right, I'm just gonna keep repeating that across. The reason I like to insert my hook into the little bump on the back of the chain is give me very nice edge here. That's what I like. So I'm gonna keep make one double crochet into each chain across and I will be back when I'm at the end of row one. I'm at the end of row one here and I have a total of 33 double crochet stitches across includes the first three chains. So like I said, row one is the right side. Now, if you like, you also can place your stitch marker up front of row one here. So easier to see where is your right side. Because I see some comment like, they can't figure it out where is the right side or wrong side. So this just, a little tip, <laughs> you can do that as well. So yeah, 
Anyway, go to row two. So for the row two, I'm gonna chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then turn, or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter. And the first three chains count as one double crochet, and the two chain count as two chain space. Okay, so after I chain five and then I turn, I'm gonna skip the next stitch here and make one double crochet into the next stitch. So I yarn over my hook, I skip the next stitch here, and then insert the hook into the next stitch and make a double crochet. Okay, and then chain two, one and two, and skip next stitch and make one double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're just gonna repeat that across. Chain two, skip the next stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch. Chain two, skip the next stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch. Chain two, skip the next stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch. All right, just keep repeating this across, okay? Chain two, skip the next, insert the hook into the next, and make a double crochet. Chain two, skip the next, double crochet into the next. All right, keep repeating that until the end, and I will be back when I'm at the end of row two. I'm at the end of row two here, but I haven't made the last double crochet yet. I just want to show you. So for the last double crochet, we're going to make into the third chain. Okay, so chain two first. Okay, so I chain two here already. So I yarn over my hook. I skip the next stitch, insert the hook into the next, which is the last stitch and right into the third chain here. And make a double crochet like that. Here's what the end of row two looks like. Okay, and the end of row two, I have a total of 17 double crochet stitches and then 16 chain two spaces. All right, so for row three, I'm gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and then turn. Or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter and then the first three chain count as one double crochet and then the two chain count as chain two space so after I chain five and turn I gonna make one double crochet into the very first stitch here the same stitch that we chain five right here so I yarn over insert the hook right into that first stitch and make a double crochet Okay, and then chain two, one and two, and then make one double crochet into the double crochet stitch here. And then repeat that, chain two, one double crochet into the next double crochet stitch here. Repeat that, chain two, one double crochet into the next double crochet stitch here. And then chain two, and then make one double crochet into the next double crochet stitch here. Okay, just keep repeating this until the end. And I will meet you guys at the end here and I'm gonna make the last stitch with you, okay? Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so, to end the row three, we're gonna make one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet, all into the third chain, which is the last stitch, okay? So chain two first here, okay? So I chain two here already. So next, I'm gonna make a double crochet into the third chain here. And then chain two, and then make one more double crochet into the same chain stitch. 
Okay, here's what this looks like. As you can see, we start right here the same and we end the same. All right, the end of row three, I have a total of 19 double crochet stitches and then 18 chain two spaces. All right, and for row four, we're going to chain five. We're going to repeat row three. Okay, so chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Again, the first three chain count as one double crochet and then the two chain there count as two chain space and then turn or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter and then we're gonna make one double crochet into the very first stitch the same chain five stitch so I yarn over insert the hook into the very first stitch there pull up a loop and make a double crochet and then chain two and make one double crochet into the next double crochet stitch Oops. And repeat that, chain two, one double crochet into the next double crochet stitch. And then repeat that, chain two, one double crochet into the next double crochet stitch. Repeat that, chain two, one double crochet into the next double crochet stitch. Chain two, one double crochet into the next double crochet stitch. Okay, here's what this looks like so far. So just keep repeating that. Chain two, one double crochet into the next double crochet stitch. Chain two, one double crochet into the next double crochet stitch. Repeating that and I will end the row four with you. Okay, I will be back. Okay, I'm at the end of row four here but I haven't finished the row four yet. Like I said, I'm gonna crochet with you. So we're going to do the same as row 3. So we're going to make one double crochet, chain 2, and one double crochet all into the third chain. Okay, so chain 2 first. So I chain 2 here already. So next, I yarn over my hook. I insert the hook into the third chain there. And then pull up a loop and make a double crochet. And then chain 2. And then make one more double crochet into the same chain stitch. Okay, here's what it looks like at the end of row 4. And I have a total of 21 double crochet stitches and then 20 chain 2 spaces. Alright, all this just for size small again. Okay, now um, you need to cut the yarn just for one panel like I said and you need to make two of this but the second one don't cut the yarn alright so for me I have two of this already one I cut the yarn at the end of row 4 and the other one here I didn't cut the yarn at the end of row 4 alright and then for row 5 we gonna join the upper front and upper back together and then we're gonna start crochet in round all right so if you don't have the other panel yet go ahead and make that and then come back okay so since I have two of this panel already I gonna continue crochet so row five I gonna chain three so one two and three okay and then turn or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter and then the first three chains count as one double crochet and then we're gonna make two double crochet into the chain two space and then make one double crochet on top of the double crochet stitch here And then two double crochet into the next two chain space. And one double crochet into the double crochet stitch. And we're just gonna repeat that across. Okay? Two double crochet into the two chain space. One double crochet into the double crochet stitch. 
Okay, repeat that to double crochet into the next two chain space. One double crochet into the double crochet stitch. Okay, just keep repeating that. So next, you're gonna make two double crochet into the next chain two space. One double crochet into the double crochet stitch. Two double crochet into the next two chain space. One double crochet into the double crochet stitch. Repeat that across and I will be back and I will make the last double crochet with you. Okay, I'm at the end here but I haven't made the last double crochet yet. Like I said, I'm gonna make with you. So for the last double crochet, we're gonna make into the third chain. Okay? Right here. Okay. Here's what this look like. And I have a total of 61 double crochet stitches here. Okay, includes the first three chains, okay? Always includes the first three chains. Okay, so next I gonna make the chain to be the underarm. So I gonna make 17 chain. This is just for size small. Again, <laughs> I just like to double check. So yeah, I gonna make 17 chain loosely. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. And I gonna join the chain that I made for the underarm into the upper front. Like I said, we're gonna join them and then we're gonna crochet in round. So I have 17 chain here. I bring my upper front here. Make sure to turn the right side up. We're gonna crochet on the right side. And now I'm gonna make one double crochet into the first double crochet stitch on the upper front. So I yarn over my hook here. And then I bring the upper front up and then I insert my hook into the first double crochet on my upper front and then pull up a loop. Oops, sorry, again. Yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop. I have three loops on my hook. I yarn over, pull through two loops and then yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, and then make two double crochet into the two chain space. And you can see now the chain is connect the upper front and back together. So make one double crochet into the next double crochet stitch. And then two double crochet into the two chain space. One double crochet into the next double crochet stitch. Two double crochet into the next two chain space. Okay, just keep repeating this Oops. across. So one double crochet into the next double crochet stitch, two double crochet into the next chain two space, one double crochet into the double crochet stitch, two double crochet into the next chain two space, We do the same as the upper back here. So yeah, just keep repeating this across. So next, you're gonna make one double crochet into the next double crochet stitch, two double crochet into the next two chain space, one double crochet into the next double crochet stitch, two double crochet into the next two chain space. Keep repeating this across. And again, for the last double crochet, you're gonna make into the third chain. You're gonna make exactly the same on this side here, the upper back here. Okay, I will be back when I'm at the end. I'm at the end here and I make the last double crochet into the third chain already. Make sure you do that as well, okay? So this part, I also have 61 double crochet stitches. Okay, you wanna have the same amount of this side. All right, and then next, we're gonna chain the underarm as well. And we're gonna do exactly the same here. So I chain 17 here, I gonna make 17 chain there as well. So make 17 chain loosely. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. And after I have seventeen chains, I gonna slip stitch into the third chain here, where I start uh, row five on my upper back here. Right here. This is the third chain. I insert the hook there. And then pull up a loop and pull it through. All right, this is round five, okay? Round five is complete. And then from now on, we're gonna crochet in round. So, at the end of round five, I have a total of 156 stitches around, includes the chain stitch as well, okay? So I have 61 double crochet here, I have 61 double crochet here, and then I have 17 chain here, 17 chain here. So all of that total of 156 stitches. So for this part, it's very, very important for you to count your stitches. Make sure that you have the same amount of these stitches that your side, the pattern of your side call for, okay? So for round six, I'm gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. The first three chains always count as one double crochet, and then the two chain there count as two chain space. And then next, skip the next stitch and make one double crochet into the next stitch. And then chain two, skip the next stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that, chain two, skip the next stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch. And we're just gonna repeat this pattern around, okay? So chain two, skip the next stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch. Chain two, skip the next stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch. Chain two, skip the next stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch. Chain two, skip the next stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch. All right, just keep repeating this pattern around. And when you come to the chain part, you're gonna treat the chain stitch as a normal stitch. So don't worry, I will be back when I'm at this chain just to show you a little bit. Okay, I will be back here. Okay, now I'm at the chain part here. I just wanna show you how to continue crochet. Like I said, it's the same pattern, but I don't wanna uh, show you. So, do the same. We chain two, and then we skip the next chain, one double crochet into the next chain. Oops, sorry. And then chain two, skip the next chain here, one double crochet into the next chain. Chain two, skip the next chain, one double crochet into the next chain. See, it's the same pattern. Chain two, skip the next chain, one double crochet into the next chain. Oops, sorry, where is it? Okay, <laughs> skip the next and double crochet into the next chain. Okay, chain two, skip the next, Make double crochet into the next. For the chain part here, sometimes the chain is hiding. So you have to like be careful and patient with this part. Okay, so chain two, skip the next chain, one double crochet into the next. Chain two, skip the next chain, one double crochet into the next chain. Chain two, skip the next chain, one double crochet into the next. Chain two, skip the next chain, and one double crochet into the next stitch here. And then chain two, skip the next stitch, one double crochet into the next. See, it's the same pattern. One more time, I show you. <laughs> 
chain two, skip the next stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, see, here's what this look like. So yeah, just keep repeating this, chain two, skip next stitch, one double crochet into the next, chain two, skip next stitch, one double crochet into the next, repeat that around. I will be back when I'm at the end here. Okay, I'm at the end of round six here. So next, we just gonna slip stitch into the third chain and we done with round six. But chain two first, okay? So here I have two chain here and then Again, we skip the next stitch and then we gonna slip stitch into the third chain. So here is the third chain. Insert the hook there, pull up a loop and pull it through. Like that. Okay, so at the end of round six, I have a total of 78 chain two spaces. So you count like this. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How like that, okay? So I have 78 chain two spaces around. Again, please count your stitches because it's very, very important for you to have the same amount of the stitches of your pattern call for. All right? So for round seven, I'm gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Again, the first three chains always count as one double crochet and in the two chain there count as uh, chain two space. And then next, we're gonna skip the next space and then into the next space, I'm gonna make lace chain stitch. So for the lace chain stitch, you're gonna make three double crochet, chain two and three double crochet all into the same space. It's count as one lace chain stitch. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, after I chain five, I skip the next space and then into the next space, I gonna make a lace chain stitch. So I yarn over my hook, I skip the next space here, insert the hook into the next space, pull up a loop and make double crochet, make three double crochet. And then chain two, and then make three more double crochet into the same space. I might go too fast. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, see, I have three double crochet, I have chain two, and I have three double crochet all into the same space. It's called as one lace chain stitch. All right. And then next, chain two. And then make one double crochet into the next double crochet stitch here. Not this one, okay, but the next one here. So chain two first. After I chain two, I gonna yarn over my hook, insert my hook into the next double crochet stitch here and make a double crochet. All right. And then, okay, this time I go slowly, sorry. So next, chain two. And then skip the next space. And into the next space, we gonna make the last shell stitch again. So chain two first and then yarn over hook skip the next space insert the hook into the next space make three double crochet okay and then chain two and make three more double crochet into the same space Okay, see, this is the second lace chain stitch that we have. So see, I have three double crochet, I have chain two, and I have three double crochet all into the same space. It's called as one lace chain stitch. So, so far, I have two lace chain stitches. All right, and then next, chain two, one and two. And then make one double crochet into the next double crochet stitch here. Not this one, okay, but this one, the next one here. Chain two first, 
and make double crochet into the next double crochet stitch okay here's what it's look like so far and we are just gonna repeat this around don't worry I show you a couple more times so next chain 2 and skip the next space and make one lead shell stitch into the next space so I chain 2 here I yarn over my hook I skip the next space insert the hook into the next space pull up a loop make double crochet double crochet and double crochet so I have three double crochet here and then next I chain two and then make three more double crochet into the same space okay now I have a little chill stitch so I have three double crochet, I have two chain, and I have three double crochet all into the same space. Again, it's count as one lead chain stitch. So so far I have three lead chain stitches. All right. So next chain two, and then make one double crochet into the next double crochet stitch here. Not this one, but this one. So I show you one more time. We chain two. And then skip the next space and make lead shell stitch into the next space. So for the lead shell, we start with three double crochet first, and then we chain two, and then we make three more double crochet into the same space. Okay, I have another lead shell stitch and then chain two and make one double crochet into the next double crochet stitch here. All right, here's what it's look like so far. So you see, so far I have four lead shell stitches here. And you're just gonna keep repeating that around, very easy. So next, you're gonna chain two, skip the next space, and make a lead shell stitch into the next space, and then you chain two, and then make one double crochet into the next double crochet stitch here. Don't forget to chain two before you make the double crochet, and then before you make a lead shell. Okay, always chain two in between the stitches. All right, I'm gonna keep repeating this pattern around if you don't remember you always can rewind the video and go watch it again all right good luck take your time i will be back when i'm at the end of round seven okay i'm at the end of round seven here sorry it's kind of big i cannot show you the whole thing here okay so to finish round seven we're gonna slip stitch into the third chain here but chain two first okay so after i make the last lead shell here and then next i chain two and then i gonna slip stitch into the third chain here right here insert the hook into the third chain pull up a loop and pull it through and here's what the end looks like all right so the end of round seven, I have a total of 26 lead shell stitches. Okay. All right. For round eight, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then we're gonna make a lead shell into the two chain space right on top of the lead shell stitch from the previous round so yeah after i chain five i'm gonna make a lead shell into this chain two space here start with three double crochet and then chain two and then three more double crochet into the same space
okay and then next we chain two and then we're gonna make one double crochet into the double crochet stitch here okay chain two and one lead shell into the two chain space right on top of the lead shell from the previous round here so chain two first and then make a lead shell into that two chain space so start with three double crochet and then chain two and make three more double crochet into the same space and then chain two and make one double crochet into the double crochet stitch and then we're just gonna repeat this pattern around so here's what this looks like so far on round eight now it's gonna start uh, repeat and then it's gonna be very easy okay so I'm gonna show you a couple more repeat here so chain two and make one lead shell into this two chain space on top of the lead shell from the previous round I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do the lead shell stitch already right <laughs> that's why I go pretty fast okay and then chain two and make one double crochet into the double crochet stitch and then we're gonna repeat that we chain two and make lead shell into this two chain space right on top of the lead shell from the previous round so make three double crochet and then chain two and three more double crochet into the same space And then chain two and then one double crochet into the double crochet stitch like that you're just gonna keep repeating this pattern around so here's what this look like okay so next you're gonna chain two and make a lead shell into this two chain space on top of the lead shell from the previous round and then chain two one double crochet into the double crochet stitch repeating that around very easy all right good luck take your time i will be back when i'm at the end of round eight here okay i'm at the end of round eight here and again to finish round eight we're gonna slip stitch into the third chain but chain two first okay so i have two chain here already and next i'm gonna insert my hook into the third chain there set the hook there pull up a loop and pull it through and here's what it looks like at the end of round eight i have the same 26 lace chill stitches around okay so for round nine to round 13 i can now repeat round eight okay very easy just repeat round eight this is just for size small and also even you make size small but you want shorter you make less round and if you want longer you make more round okay totally up to you and i'm gonna show you a few more repeat on round nine just to make sure you get it <laughs> let's say repeat round eight we chain five one two three four and five and then we're gonna make a lead shell stitch into the two chain space here on top of the lead shell from the previous round so start with three double crochet and then chain two and then three more double crochet into the same space and then chain two and then one double crochet into the double crochet stitch and then chain two make lead shell stitch into this two chain space on top of the lead shell from the previous round right here 
So make three double crochet first. I go pretty fast because I'm pretty sure you know how to do this already. Just repeat round eight. Okay, so yeah, after I have three double crochet, I chain two and then three more double crochet into the same space. Just repeat round eight. Very easy. And then chain two, one double crochet into the double crochet stitch. All right, here's what it looks like so far. Okay, so like I said, I gonna keep repeating round 8 until I have 13 rounds total. Start count from round 1 and I will be back when I'm at the end of round 13. Good luck, take your time and I will be back soon. Okay guys, I'm back. So I have 13 rounds of my tank top here. This is the end of round 13 and I already cut my yarn. So after I slip stitch into the third chain here and I cut my yarn and then next I just gonna pull my yarn out and then I'm done with this part. I will weave the end later. Here's what it looks like. Okay, it's pretty big. <laughs> Alright, see here's what it looks like. And then next we're gonna make the strap. Okay, so for the strap, uh, we're gonna make in four corner. So we have two corner in the upper front and then two corner on the upper back. So we're gonna crochet into each corner. So four corner total. So this is the right side, okay? I'm gonna insert my hook into this corner first. At the first stitch there, make my new yarn. And then hold the yarn on the back, the new yarn, and then yarn over hook, pull up a loop. And then I'm gonna make the chain until I reach about 16 inches. So if you like, you can tie this knot as well if you think it's not secure. But for me, I'm just gonna hold it like that. And then I'm just gonna make the chain that reach about 16 inches. So one, two, three four five six I don't know why I count anyways I'm not gonna count the chain I'm gonna keep making the chain until I have about 16 inches okay now I have my chain reach about 16 inches and then next I gonna slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and then slip stitch into each chain across back to where I add the new yarn here right into this corner Okay, but I gonna slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the chain. I recommend do this method, but if you don't like to do this, you also can insert your hook into the normal chain here where the V shape. Okay, so I gonna skip the first stitch, the first chain, and then insert the hook into the next chain, right into the little bump on the back of the chain, right here. So I insert my hook there. Sorry, difficult. Okay, insert the hook there, pull up a loop and pull it through. And then slip stitch into the next bump here. And then slip stitch into the next bump here. Next bump here. Slip stitch into the next bump here. Slip stitch into the next bump. This can be a little difficult to insert the hook into, just be patient, okay? So next bump here. Next bump here. Like that. So I just gonna keep slip stitch into each bump across here. So let me show you here. So this V shape is a normal chain, right? You also can insert your hook in there as well if you like. But for me, 
I turn a little bit and I'll see the little bump on the back of the chain there. That's what I insert my hook into and make a slip stitch. This is the little bump on the back of the next chain. Little bump on the back of the next chain. Little bump on the back of the next chain. That's what I insert my hook into and make a slip stitch. But yeah, whatever you prefer. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to keep making slip stitch until I reach the end here. And I will be back. Okay, now I reach the end here. And next, I'm just going to cut the yarn. Leave a little bit of tail, just enough to weave in the end later. And then I pull my yarn out. And I'm done with this strap. And I'm going to weave all the ends here later. Okay, and then next, you're going to do exactly the same on this corner and then these two corners as well. Like I said, we have four corners total. So, let me show you a little bit on this corner here. So, I insert my hook into this corner here. And then bring the new yarn. And then yarn over, pull up a loop and chain. So I'm going to make the chain 16 inches long again. Whatever the length that you have for the chain that you start with this side, you're going to make all, all four straps to have the same length. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to keep making the chain until I have about 16 inches long. And this is depend on how long you want your strap to be as well. So yeah, <laughs> alright, so yeah, I'm gonna keep making the same as this strap and when I reach 16 inches long, I'm gonna slip stitch into each chain back down, do exactly the same. So I have three more to go here and I'm pretty sure you know how to do that, so I'm not gonna show you again. So I'm gonna go ahead and make three straps here and then I will be back. Good luck, take your time. Okay, now I have four strap here and I'm done. So next, I just need to weave all the ends and I'm done. So yeah, that's it guys. So let me show you. I'm gonna tie a bow here. You can tie a bow, tie a knot, totally up to you. Whatever you prefer. Look at that. It's very cute. I love it. Alright guys. I hope you enjoy making this tank top. If you did, please give this video a big thumb up and share this video with your friends. I will appreciate that so much. It's helped me out a lot. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye bye.